to the channel. Unless you've been here before and you're a subscriber, welcome back. Um, just a reminder, right now the giveaway is live and I'm going to drop a keyword and the instructions below in the box right down here. Um, yeah, so today we're doing the six sack. Um, I'm really excited about this. This is October six sack and these are always really, really good. Uh, so let's get this guy cracked open here and see what we got. After last month, I think it'll be hard to beat last month's six sack. And that's, yeah, the value last month was ridiculous. And I just cannot wait to see what's in here. So let's crack this boy open. Nice black bag. Got so many of these now. All right. Get this guy open. So let's start. Oh, what feels cool in here? Here, it's a big clamshell. We got the flush 5.2 soft jerk bait. These are really uh, cool, and I've kind of thought of a ingenious kind of. I won't say ingenious because I haven't done it yet, so I don't know if it actually works. But I've thought of a new way that I think I want to try fishing these. Besides doing something normal like just fishing at weightless or fishing on a donkey rig or anything like that. Let's see if I can get this open so I can show you guys. I really, really like the flush. Um, it's a really cool jerk, uh, soft jerk bait. So they're, they're oiled. They're scented. Kind of weird scent, but they got it. So it's got that channel on the bottom to hide your hookup in. And the dorsal fin on it is actually split so your hook sits right there inside it. It's got the perfect spot right here on the end, so you can slip your hook in. It's got this little ball back here that's supposed to give it insane action. These things have great action anyway. And then they've got fins on the sides. Makes it look more realistic. And then, I don't know how well the camera's going to pick it up, but it's got texture all down the sides that look like gills. Or, not gills. <laughs> um, scales. And you've got your gill plate up here, a little eye area. This is a cool bait. This is a really, really cool bait. And this color, this color's cool too, how it's split. What was this again? Watermelon. Oh, baby crappie. For some reason I had watermelon on the mind. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is going to be wicked. Throw that in there like that. That's a huge one. I really like these and I don't have this color. Um, okay, so we got stout wide gap hooks, which are perfect for this. And I might as well just rig this up real quick since they gave us the hooks that go with it. If, if I can get this to flip over, there we go. So normally, when I rig something on EWG, I will go all the way down with the hook. With soft jerk baits, I don't do that. I only go halfway, and I turn it. I just, I don't. Still covers the hook. Still works fine. Um, so you're gonna shove that up in there, and just, oh, no, just like. And that channel fits this five out perfectly, and there's there's nothing. I wouldn't I, necessarily you wouldn't have to post text that, but I do anyway. Just it's a habit. It's a good habit to get into. Um, I've even been thinking about fishing these on an underspin just to just to try it out, see how it goes. Uh, it could be a winning combination. It could also be a complete waste of time, but. It's worth trying. That's that's awesome. These hooks, I really like these the six cents hooks. They're they're actually really good quality for like a regular bait company, I guess I want to say, not like a hook company. Um, I don't know who makes them or if they have an outsource or if they themselves made make them. But the stout hooks, I like them. 
I like them a lot, and I'm never upset when I get them in boxes or in my slip sack. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, I did get it. Okay, so this is the exclusive color this month, and this is the new Flat Finesse F4 uh, square bill. So the square bill is really, really cool, and because it's got a, instead of having like a normal plastic bill, this has a, um, oh, I can't think of the name of it. It's what they, it's a microchip board is what it's made out of. So you can't really, you, it, it, it's tougher. It's much tougher bill. Oh, what's, what do they call this? I know this is, a, yeah, exclusive color, good luck charm. Okay, I like this a lot. So it's got that, a nice pearl belly leading up into kind of a yellow stripe higher up. And then it's got this nice lavender color, the hot pink in the front, these awesome EWG style treble hooks, which are great. And then it goes to that dark purple back. I cannot wait to throw this in the sound. Just for moving around, I knew it was gonna have a great knock in it. It's, it's... Oh, there's two in there. It's not quite a single knock, but it's it's got a heavy single knock with another knock in there. This is great. How much does this weigh? Half ounce, 2.5 inches, four to six feet. Flat sided crank. I cannot wait to throw this. I'm super, super excited about this. This thing is wicked looking. Super, super wicked. I like this. I like this a lot. It just gets better as I look at it, too, because oh, I wish, I hope the camera's going to pick up all the angles on this, all the color. Because that's, that's three quarters of the coolness of six inch baits is the the paint on the the paint on the baits is just it's so good it's so so good all right so we got a thud 70 half ounce this is a lipless and if i remember correctly the thud is a single knot guy what color is this backwater bluegill i like it i like it a lot is that single knock? Yep, single knock. Well, look at that. It's even got like a little ear, like a bluegill. That's so cool. A little orange front, just like a little bluegill. This is gonna be another solid, super solid bait. Especially now they're chasing bait fish with fall transition going on. Everything right that I've got in front of me is perfect for this time of year. And I really love these colors. Oh, what's this? <clears throat> Crush Mini 25 MD. Uh, quarter ounce dive seven, four to seven feet. Wow, that's deep for a light bait like this. So you got that perfect pearl belly, little orange spot, going up into a chartreuse. It's got that lateral line in it. It's got the scale print, and of course, you know, just like all the other six um, six sense baits. I don't know if you're gonna see it with this color. You're gonna see it better. So maybe here. Let me let me change my color in here of my lights. There we go. Let's try that thing. Okay, that's a little better, I think. But they've got formed gill plates in all the sides of all the baits. And it's just, it's wicked. It's super wicked. Oh, that's exciting. What color was this? Sexified Chartreuse Shad. Believe it. I can't wait to throw this. This is super awesome. And once again, oh, this one actually does not have... EWG style treble hooks. I forget that those small six cents baits don't have the EWG style treble hooks like the larger two. <clears throat> what else we got? Oh, 25% off for water dock and fish camp jackets. It's pretty cool, actually. 
set that over there. Crush 100 silent. So this is a silent square bolt. It's a large profile bait, but because it's silent, it's not going to be as heavy. And this color is boiled crawfish. Yeah, 5 eighths of an ounce. Oh, I guess it is still going to be heavy. So it's 5 eighths of an ounce. <clears throat> nice bright orange, fading up into a darker red. You've got your silver slashes on the sides with your black slashes and your spots. Nice heavy bait. EWG style treble hooks. That's cool. I don't have a si uh, silent crush, I don't think. Well, I don't have any of these, actually. I, I got the hooks, but... The whatever. Oh! Okay, so this is a Swank 66. So this is the little guy Swank. Two to five feet, and it's half an ounce, but this color is wicked. Craw bomb. Oh, and now that we're opening the last bait, um, I'm going to go ahead and tell you what the keyword for this one, for this video, for the entry into it is, it's going to be wicked. Because I said wicked a million times during this video. Orange stripe, semi-translucent, you've got your gill plates, kind of a matte color on the sides, gold flake in it, a lot more gold flake, all of the gold flake. This thing is so cool looking. Okay, so the idea with the swank, it's a square bill, okay? So the idea with the swank from what I've read and what I've experienced, and it's true, um, with the swank, it's got this weird shaped square bill bill. It gives it a slightly different action than a regular square bill, but it's surprisingly better than a regular square bill ripping through cover. Okay, so if you're going through like, say like light pads or like light grass, this will go through it much better than a traditional square bill will. And it'll still deflect off of rocks and wood and stuff like that, like a traditional square bill. And the rattle in this thing is really sweet. I don't know what it is about the Swanks, but they have insane sounds and they're they're cool. Now, since how this is a smaller one, so this is like the Baby Swank 66. I think the other one's a 77. I have that one as well. Um, it has EWG style treble hooks. This one does not. I'm not bashing on these hooks because these hooks are unbelievably sharp, but that's, that's a fact. Um, yeah, this is, this is sweet. I'm most excited about this. I've been wanting to throw this since I read the announcement. And I hadn't ordered any because I want because I figured since how I didn't get one in the last sack because we got that super awesome trace in there. I figured this month we would get a finesse F4. I didn't know it was going to be my exclusive color. This color you cannot buy if you wanted to. Unless you bought it from somebody that got the six sack because it is the only way you can get this color or any of the exclusive colors, and you get an exclusive color every month, sometimes two. I've actually gotten two once. Um, but yeah, this is this is super wicked. I'm so excited about this. I'm really excited about all these. I've been kind of wondering what would happen if I, if I threw reds and oranges in the fall and the rest of the year, because typically I take all my reds and oranges I've got my red and orange box over here. It's just got all my reds and orange crankbaits for spawn. I wonder well, if they would still be solid options in fall transition. Try it out. See what happens. Um, but yeah, all of this is super wicked. So the six sack is 35 bucks a month. Okay. Um, We'll just look at the value real quick, alright guys? Can't buy this if you wanted to. But let's just say it was 10 bucks. This is probably like 7 bucks. I think these are like 7 bucks. This is a big one, so we'll call that 7 bucks, and we'll call that 7 bucks. Just make it easy. 
7, 14, 21, um, 28. Call these six bucks. That's 34 bucks. All right. There's that essentially pays for it. Now, I think this is actually 10. Um, but I know this is 10. So you get the exclusive color and then you get the hooks. Let's just call those five bucks. All right. So there's like 50, 50, 60 bucks worth of stuff here, give or take. Once you figure that you're going to end up paying a premium for any of the exclusive colors that you can't buy unless you get the six sack. Um, and actually, my prices are probably off on these. Calling these seven bucks is probably low, but we'll just call it that. So there's easy 50 bucks here. Easy. If you, you just get the six sack, if you can swing it, it's worth it. And you get the exclusive colors, you get colors that you wouldn't necessarily pick. You get all the colors are good, actually. Um, you get colors that you wouldn't necessarily pick on your own, which is nice because it forces you out of your comfort zone, and that's good. You want to be able to get out of your comfort zone. Um, and then you get the exclusive colors that are just awesome, and then you get all kinds of good stuff. And you get coupons all the time, or you get and you get um, notices about things like right now six cents. They have buy one, get one half off on all their rods. So if you're in the market for a rod, that would be, right now is a really good time to do that. Um, it's early Black Friday sale. They've been doing the um, gas sale for most of the summer. They keep changing everything that's on there, moving new stuff in, moving old stuff out. Um, some of the stuff, they, they put like a low quantity on there of how many, like, a trace. Um, I picked up one trace. I haven't shown you guys that yet, but I only gave like 14 bucks for it. It's a $40 bait all day, every day, 15 bucks. And I went back cause I was like, Oh, well maybe I should just pick up a second and they were sold out. No more. Can't be mad. And I, I really like the six stack. I really, really do. And if you can swing it, I recommend it. Now, versus like the other boxes, the other boxes give you a variety of different brands. Uh, Mr. Tackle Box is a little bit more lenient towards like Ketchco stuff and like Guggen stuff, which some of you guys don't like. Uh, Monster Bass, every box is very well thought through. The only downside is, is I'm not in love with all the Monster Bass brand baits, which you can't blame them for putting their own baits in their own box. Like, that's to be expected. Um, six cents. The six sack is literally only six cents baits, and they're all, well, really great quality. They're they're amazing quality. Like, I'll, yeah. Like, I have the Provokes, the jerk baits from Sixth Sense, and I love them almost as much as I love my, um, why can't I think of the name of it now? It's the, uh, Mega Bass Vision 110. I like the Provoke almost as much as I like the Vision 110, and that's... That's saying something because the Vision 110 is the bar. And as far as crankbaits go, I really, really do love the Six Sense crankbaits. And I've got a bunch of their swim baits, and I even have Six Sense rods. My friend calls me a Six Sense fanboy, but I mean, he's also got a pile of Six Sense stuff, so he can't really point fingers. The jigs are amazing. It's just. It's really good quality stuff, okay? Yeah, it's it's a little bit more expensive, but you can take a six cent spade and put it next to like say a KVD, or you can put it next to like a Guggen bait, or like if you want to compare their lipless to like Rattle Trap, you can see the quality and the price when you really look at it is 
maybe this much more. Okay? And then they also sell custom baits. I mean, it's it's solid. It's super solid. So, all right. Well, that's it, guys. Um, that's it for tonight. This is the six cent, six cent six sack for October. I think they named it that to make it more difficult for everybody that opens it. Um, but yeah, super awesome. Absolutely wicked. I can't wait to throw this. Anyway, uh, tight lines, guys. Take care. Stay safe out there.